Hey YouTube, how's everyone going today? I am Miguel Sanchez, welcoming you to another exciting episode of LEGO History. And as you can see, this is my second LEGO History video that I'm doing today. So, why well, have just one episode when you can have two today? So, yay! Thanks for coming on by, welcome to today's edition of LEGO History. So... Oh, I know. Alright, sorry. Take a deep breath. We'll be okay. I promise. Anyways, for this episode, we are going to South Korea because today we are taking a look at EBS 1 and EBS 2. And this is episode 180 of the series. So, this is going to be a lot of fun. Anyways, if you're ready, let's get started. First, we're going to take a look at EBS 1. And here's a short for those who know what EBS 1 is. EBS 1, formerly KBS 3, is a South Korean free to air television channel. Operated by the educational broadcasting system, the, the channel is available as a national network without any without any regional variation in schedules. Its national distribution, however, is administered is administered by KBS. So yes, that's all I gotta say about this short bio on EBS One. Look at this is EBS One. Channel name is EBS One. Genre is education. Five hundred seven point seven eight ninety is owned by the Educational Broadcasting Corporation. Headquarters are in Seoul, South Korea. They don't have a slogan, and their website is EBS.co.kr. Slash TV slash home. If you're interested, go check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But yes, with that being said, let's get started. This is a logo history of EBS 1. 1981 to four. the channel was launched as KBS 3 TV. So we have the letter K in red text on right, there's a letter B in green text on right, there's a letter S in blue text on right, there's a black slash, I mean, there's a black hyphen, and on right, there's a black number 3, and on right, there's a word TV in black text. So Yes, that's pretty much it for this logo. 1984 to 1990, they changed it into KBS3. So the hyphen and the word, uh, word TV have been removed. The fonts of the word KBS has changed. And that's all there is to say about it here. So, yeah, yeah, but yes, the, uh, the, the number 3 remains the same. But the, but the fonts of the word KBS has changed. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say about this logo. Uh, 1990 to 1995, they changed it into the EBS, or the Educational Broadcasting System. So we have the, the E and... We have the letter E in red text on the right, the letter B in green text on the right, the letter S in blue text on the right. There's a, there's a red circle on it. There's the three negative space transparent uh, lines. The, the slashing through the circle. So, yeah. I didn't even know about that. Uh, 1995 2001, they changed it. Uh, that, uh, that. They're still on EBS. Uh, 1995 2001, the, slash, uh, the, the circle of the slash have been removed. The font has changed, and the word EBS is now completely in blue text. So, yes, that's that's all I gotta say about this logo. Here's their test pattern. 2001 2004, we have the word, uh, the, the font changed again, and the logo is dark, uh, the, test, uh, the text is darker, and now on the right of the word EBS, there's a dark blue circle, and inside it, there's a green circle. And, and connected to it, we have a light blue circle, and on the right of the dark blue circle, there's a another green circle. So yes, that's all. So it was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. Um, test four, test fifteen. The uh, light blue circle connected to the green circle is that orange, and the uh, the green circle right next to the dark blue circle is now dark blue. So yeah, everything else remains intact. So that's pretty much it. Test fifteen, test eighteen. They have changed to they finally changed to EBS one. So the circles have been removed for the logo, and now on the right of the word EBS, there's a Drop blue number one. So yeah, that's all I gotta say about this Lego. And finally, test 18 to the present. The font of the number one has changed and is now in, uh, in in different shades of blue. So it's light blue, light blue, dark blue, and a and medium sized blue. So yeah, that's all. Oh, guys, see logo. And now we're gonna take a look at his sister station, EBS2. So let's take a little short break for this what EBS2 is. EBS2 is a South Korean free to air television channel operated by the educational broadcasting system. The channel is available as a national network without any regional variation in schedules. Its national distribution, however, is administered by KBS. EBS2 serves as a sister network to EBS1. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. Looking at the sisters as EBS2, channel name is EBS2, genre is education, Japan is founded and launched on. February 11, 2015, it is owned by the Educational Broadcasting Corporation. Headquarters are in Seoul, South Korea. They have no slogan, and their website is ebs.co.kr slash tv slash home. The link will be in the description below. But with all that being said, let's get started. The final logo of the day. The logo hits it off. EBS 2. Test 15, test 18, we have to, which has the word EBS in dark blue text. On our right, there's a dark blue number 2. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say about this logo. And test 18 to the present. The bottom number 2 has changed, and now in different shades of green. So, we have a light green, dark green, and a teal green whatever it is 
Uh, yes, uh, that's pretty much it. But anyways, yes, that's it. It's over. Thank you so much for watching our episode of Local History on K EBS 1 or EBS 2. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way you never know when a new video drops. But with that being said, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoy yourself. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time with another new episode of Logo History. Come back and see us again real soon for episode 181, where we're heading to Italy! Wait, well, we're heading back to Italy for episode 181, where it's going to be about Ride 1, Ride 2, Ride 3, Ride 4, and Ride 5. So, my gosh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5! Ride! <laughs> I'll see you guys there. Until then, I am Miguel Sanchez, forever here on Logo History. By the way, I already talked about Ride on uh, episode... Uh, Three of Logo History 2, so if you haven't seen yet, definitely go check it out. But with that being said, thanks for tuning in today for every here on Logo History. I'm Miguel Sanchez. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. See you on the next one, guys. Laters.